got a little nerves or nerve wracking there. <laughs> we by there in the late in the race. Yeah, I think they just made too hard of a move, or obviously Whiteman didn't, but that guy made too hard of a move, and I'm like, oh, he's done himself in, so I was just patient and waited till the last 50. So you knew you were going to get him? Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully. I didn't know, like, I was watching his feet and seeing, like, he was all out, but I don't know. I was hoping that he had nothing left. <laughs> when he got to the start line, you saw no Suleiman. They didn't really recede it. What were you thinking? What were you thinking, like, this is only going to be a two-man qualifier? Uh, no, I mean, I knew it would be competitive. There's... A couple other guys that have run in the 330s, maybe even 320s, but then another 329 guy dropped out. He was supposed to be hit number six, and like me and Jake were talking right before the race, we're like, oh my gosh, we've just gotten so lucky. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe I'll get unlucky at another championship. <laughs> were you surprised when they went around you? I think it was like 1,200 meters or something? No, I wasn't that surprised. I was, like most people kick 400 out, and I didn't make a move, and I was in the lead, so. I knew they were going to come by at some point. But you were, you were okay with giving it up? Yeah, Just yeah. Them, yeah. Too yeah. It's better to race someone than being scared that someone's behind you. Okay. Well, the final. <laughs> Win it, right? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I'm not going to go into this championship not looking to medal, so I don't know how unrealistic it is, but I'm going to go for it. You just met the guy who was leading the majority of the race yeah. in the pre-meet yesterday. Yeah. Was that like him in the race and knowing that like hey I just talked to this guy the first time. <laughs> the Equatorial Guinea guy. He uh he has the smoothest form. He looks so good and then I do I guess his PR is like three fifty two or something but maybe if you just had a good coach join the NOP. <laughs> yeah you were recruiting you <laughs> yeah, yeah that's why I came out here and I accidentally made a final. <laughs> so how is the world championship experience been? It's the first one for you. It's pretty cool except for like the weather. <laughs> yeah I mean we were just joking the other day about having a this meet at like a tropical climate, but obviously no one's going to build an indoor track <laughs> at a tropical climate. <laughs> so I'm guessing years on, it's just going to be terrible weather. Yeah, well, I mean, it'd probably be better than Doug Lauer if you make that team next year. So. <laughs> yeah, the heat? I'm used to that in Mississippi. Right. <laughs> I'm going to go back there and train for the summer. <laughs> so nine-man field for the final. You're in there. Anytime you're in a 1500 meter race, it's a chance to win. Mm -hmm. What chance do you give yourself to get a medal? Mm. I don't want to say anything. Uh, I'm just hopeful to be, I don't know. Yeah, I know there's a lot of money on the line as well, so I'm not making it about the money, but top six gets paid, so. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, so <laughs> just circled around that question. <laughs>